Our topic today is about the anatomy of the skin, hair and nails. Before we begin, let's go over our lesson guide. A. Content standards. Demonstrate an understanding of the concepts of beauty care and wellness services. B. Performance standards. After this lesson, the learners perform hand spa services following safety precautions. C. Learning competencies. Discuss the concepts of beauty care and wellness services. Learning objectives. First, identify and describe the structure and functions of the nails, skin, and hair, explaining how each part contributes to protection, hygiene, and overall wellness. Second, show appreciation for the importance of maintaining clean and healthy nails, skin, and hair as part of good grooming, hygiene, and self-confidence. Third, demonstrate proper nail, skin, and hair care routines based on correct procedures and best practices discussed in class. Short review. Let's begin our lesson with a short activity called visual discovery. Name the pictures. Look at the pictures below and complete each word by filling in the missing letters. 1. What do you think this word is? 1. Very good. Fingernails. How about this one? Excellent. 2. Skin. And this last one number 3? Correct. Hair. Reflective discussion. Are you familiar with the functions of these parts? Great job. So, we have fingernails, skin, and hair. Now let's think deeper. What do these pictures tell us? Nail check time. Before we move on, let's take a quick look at our hands. Are your fingernails clean and well trimmed? Clean nails are a sign that you care for your body. That's part of being healthy and confident. Worked example. Now that we've talked about beauty and wellness, let's see how well we apply these practices in our daily lives. Concepts of beauty care and wellness services. Each of you will answer this beauty care and wellness practices assessment tool. Activity number one. Self-assessment of ones. Beauty care and wellness. Direction. Read and understand carefully the beauty care and wellness practices that are mentioned in the self-assessment tool. Simply check those practices that applies to you. Be honest in answering the assessment tool. You may now begin. Take your time. Remember, there are no right or wrong answers here. It's all about understanding your own habits. All right, class, let's now talk about your answers. I want to hear your thoughts and feelings while doing this activity. 1. What emotions have you felt while doing the activity? 2. What realization did you have after you finished your task? 3. Those are wonderful reflections. Remember, Beauty care is not just about appearance, it's about self-respect, discipline, and maintaining good health. Practicing good self-care habits every day helps us stay healthy and feel good about ourselves. Today, we will explore one of the most important parts of our body that we take care of in beauty and wellness, the nails. Before we begin, take a moment to look at your fingernails. Have you ever wondered why we have them or what they're made of? Let's begin. Anatomy of the nail. Fingernails and toenails are part of every human's anatomy. In this lesson, you will learn about the different parts of the nails and how to keep them healthy. Having healthy nails is just like having clean teeth and shiny hair, they show that we take good care of ourselves. The color of the nails also serves as an indicator if a person is in good health or not. For example, healthy nails are usually pinkish and smooth, while brittle or discolored nails can be a sign of poor hygiene or health problems. 
Having clean and tidy nails also gives a person a good impression if he, she is practicing good grooming. Parts and functions of the nail. Now, let's look at this diagram showing the parts of the nail. Each part has a special function that keeps our nails strong, clean, and healthy. First is the matrix. It is one of the most important parts of the nail where new nail cells are formed. As these new cells grow, they continually push forward to create the nail plate, or the hard part of your nail that we see. It is located behind the root of the nail. The matrix also has blood vessels and nerves. The blood supply provides nourishment to the growing nail cells, helping them stay strong and healthy. So, what do you think will happen if the matrix gets damaged? Exactly. If the matrix is injured or infected, it can cause the nail to grow abnormally, it might appear ridged, split, or misshapen. That's why it's very important to protect this part during nail care procedures. Second, eponychium is a living skin at the base of the nail plate that covers the matrix area. This should not be confused with the cuticle. It is the thickened layer of living skin located at the base of the nail plate, where the nail meets the skin of the finger. Its primary role is to form a protective seal over the nail matrix. The eponychium is the living tissue, thickened skin, while the cuticle is the dead, clear, flaky skin that is stuck right onto the flat part of the nail as it gets longer. Third, free margin, margo liber, or distal edge is the anterior margin of the nail plate corresponding to the abrasive or cutting edge of the nail. It is also called free edge, the part of the nail plate you can file or cut. It's the edge that hangs over the end of your finger. Fourth, lateral margin, margo lateralis, lies beneath the nail wall on the sides of the nail and the nail groove or fold, sulcus matrices unguis, or the cutaneous slits into which the lateral margins are embedded. Lateral margin is the side edge of the actual hard nail plate. It's the part of your nail plate that disappears underneath the surrounding skin. Nail groove or nail fold is the little ditch or slit in the skin where the side edge of the nail is firmly set. This ditch helps hold the nail plate in place and is protected by the surrounding skin wall. Fifth, proximal fold of the eponychium is a tight band of living tissue that most people incorrectly think is their cuticle. It refers specifically to the fold or ridge of skin that sits at the base of the nail plate. This fold is what you can see and feel. Since this skin dries out easily, people are quick to clip this skin believing that it's not necessary. The best way to keep this skin soft and tight to the nail plate is with a high-quality, penetrating nail and cuticle oil. A proper moisturizing is the best way to care for it. Sixth, cuticle is a thin layer of dead tissue riding on the nail plate to form a seal between the nail plate and eponychium to prevent pathogens from infecting the matrix area. It is the transparent skin, which is called the true cuticle. This is the part that is gently scraped off or removed during a manicure. Seventh, lunula, small moon, is the visible part of the matrix, the whitish crescent-shaped base of the visible nail. The lunula can best be seen in the thumb and may not be visible on the little finger. It is the white, half-moon shape you can sometimes see at the base of your nail. Eighth, nail plate is composed of hardened, flat, translucent, non-living, keratin nail cells that form a solid, protective layer over the underlying soft tissue. The nail plate should not be confused with the nail bed. It is visible nail that rests on the nail bed up to the free edge. It is made of dead cells called keratin, and its main job is to protect the soft tissue underneath. Ninth, nail bed is the soft, pink tissue that sits underneath and supports the nail plate. It is the part of the nail where the nail plate rests on. It acts as a cushion and support for the growing nail. Tenth, nail sinus, sinus unguis, is where the nail root is such as the base of the nail underneath the skin. It originates from the actively growing tissue below, the matrix. This is the part under the skin at the base of your nail where the nail starts to grow. It's like the hidden part that produces new nail cells. Eleventh, nail wall, vallum unguis, is the cutaneous fold overlapping the sides and proximal end of the nail. This is the skin that slightly covers the sides and base of your nail. It protects the edges and keeps the nail in place. Twelfth, Hyponychium is represented as a pink line. It is a soft tissue seal underneath the extended, free, edge of the nail plate whose purpose is to prevent pathogens from infecting the nail bed. This is the soft skin under the tip of your nail. It acts like a barrier that stops germs and dirt from going under your nail. Thirteenth, sole horn cuticle, a thin layer of dead tissue riding on the nail plate to form a seal between the nail plate and hyponychium to prevent pathogens from infecting the nail bed. The sole horn cuticle pulls away from the underside of the hyponychium and attaches tenaciously to the nail plate. 
Lastly, bone of the fingertip or phalanx. It supports and shapes both the nail matrix and nail bed. The flat or curved shape of your nails is determined by the shape of your fingertip bone. This is the bone under your fingertip that supports your nail. The shape of this bone affects whether your nails are flat or curved. Ways on how to take care of your nails 1. A healthy diet will give us healthy nails. A healthy daily diet is achieved by taking lots of water, protein, dairy, fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Eating gelatin is also a great way of keeping the fingers and toenails strong and healthy. Having a balanced diet helps your nails stay strong and smooth. Drink plenty of water and eat foods rich in protein, vitamins, and minerals such as fruits, vegetables, dairy products, and whole grains. You can also eat foods with gelatin to make your nails tougher and less likely to break. Taking the daily recommended amounts of foods like nutrients, vitamins, and minerals will help you achieve the fastest, easiest, and healthiest way to get healthy and stronger nails. Eating the right amount of vitamins and minerals every day helps your nails grow faster, stronger, and healthier. 2. Care for your nails weekly. To keep nails healthy and beautiful it is necessary for us to have weekly maintenance of fingernails and toenails. This is done by applying a moisturizer, filing, and applying nail treatments to replenish the lost vitamins and nutrients in the nails that will make them strong and durable. A consistent weekly routine of moisturizing, filing, and treating is essential. It's the best way to make sure your nails stay strong, healthy, and looking great all the time. Weekly manicures and pedicures are advised. They can be done in a beauty salon or even in your home by yourself. Make sure that the nail care tools are all sterilized every time you use them to prevent the occurrence of infections. Maintaining nails at least once per week should be done routinely and regularly because it will surely give healthy nail results. Make weekly nail maintenance a routine. You don't have to go to a salon if you don't want. You can easily give yourself a quick manicure or pedicure right at home. If you use tools like clippers, files, or cuticle pushers, you must sterilize them every single time. If you do your nails at home, What's a quick and easy way you can make sure your metal tools are clean and sterilized? Three, maintain nail cuticles. The cuticle of fingernails and toenails is an essential part of healthy nails and is often neglected. The cuticle is the little strip of skin at the base of your nail. The problem is, the cuticle is often neglected. It is recommended that you apply thick oil or cream directly onto the cuticle, rub it, Spread it to maximize moisture, and rehydrate it to achieve healthy nails. Fingernails and toenails once moisturized give our hands and feet nail appearance an attractive effect. Moisturizing your cuticles gives your hands and feet a cleaner, healthier, and more attractive nail appearance. Never neglect the cuticle, it's the foundation for healthy nail growth. 4. File nails only as needed. Filing your nails too often can make them thin, weak, and easy to break. That's why you should file only when needed. There are different grits, or roughness, of nail files to choose from. Fine, to eliminate ridges in the nail bed. Extra fine, to smooth the nail bed. Medium, to remove the top layer of the nail bed and to shape the nail edges. Coarse, to shape and shorten the nail edges. Extra coarse, to shape and shorten the nail edges. Never use it on the nail bed, use the right nail file for your nails. Fine and extra fine files smooth the nail surface, while medium and coarse files are used to shape and shorten the edges. Filling just the tip of the nails will result in a smoother edge with no sharp parts or spots. You can also create a squared or circled shape. Filling is also needed because it shortens the nails, softens the ridges and creates a smoother nail bed. File nails only as needed, in moderation, and in one direction only because too much filing will cause nails to become too short in length too thin, and or breaking, cracking, and possibly peeling. Remember, be gentle, file only as needed, and always go in one direction to maintain strong, healthy nails. 5. Do not bite nails. Biting fingernails and toenails is strictly not advisable because it reduces nail growth, strength, and beauty. Nail biting is not a good habit. It usually occurs when people get nervous, stop smoking, or become anxious. To discourage nail biting, applying nail products to nails that taste bad when put into the mouth is recommended. Nail biting is a habit that can be broken over time and with some patience. It will surely give healthier, stronger, and longer nail results. If you have this habit, focus on finding a different, healthier way to handle stress, like using a stress ball or chewing gum. Protecting your nails from biting is a crucial step in maintaining their strength and beauty. 6. Artificial nails are harmful to natural nails. 
fingernails and toenails that are acrylic, gel, or unnatural are harmful to natural nails upon removal. Many people love the look of artificial nails, whether they are acrylics or gels. However artificial nails can be harmful to your natural nails, especially upon removal. Applying artificial nails to fingernails and toenails damages the natural nails once removed. Prolonged use of artificial nails may increase the number of bacteria and fungi growing between artificial and natural nails. When acrylic, gel, or other artificial nails are removed, the process, whether it's scraping, filing, or soaking with harsh chemicals, can easily harm your natural nail. This damage leaves the nail plate thin, brittle, and prone to breaking and peeling. One major risk of wearing artificial nails for too long is the potential for infection. If you choose to wear artificial nails, ensure they are applied and removed gently by a professional. And most importantly, don't wear them constantly. Give your natural nails time to breathe and recover to prevent weakening and dangerous infections. 7. Nail cosmetics are not required. Using nail polish or having nail art applied to nails does not enhance the health or strength of nails. Having nails covered up much of the time may stain the nail bed which then requires filing to remove the top first layer of the nail bed, making for thinner and more brittle nails that are more prone to peeling and cracking. Although nail polish and nail art make nails more attractive, nail art should be applied only in moderation, and artificial nails should be used only on special occasions. This is to ensure that the nails are naturally healthy and strong. It's fun to use nail polish or get nail art, but these products do not enhance the health or strength of your nails. They are purely for looks. Individual Assessment Identification Task Label the parts of the nail in a provided diagram. Enumeration Task List 5 correct ways to take care of the nails.